Hi, this is Little Dwarf playing games while rumbling incoherently into a microphone. Why? Well, just because I can. And they continue with the sinking city, blind. Now, I need to view my quest log to remember what I was doing. Uh, oh, I'm looking for Cavendish, uh, which I think there's another thing to do. In, because I'm currently in Advent, uh, so this is in Salvation Harbor, uh, this is in Advent, uh, so I will go to this guy, uh, South Advent on Purity Road. Hmm. His house is on Purity Road, but Purity Road is entirely submerged, which is a bit weird. Uh, Whisper Street, this is in Grimhaven Bay. Mm, Salvation... Salvation Harbor. And then it can matter. This is in Salvation Harbor as well. Uh, and this is in Salvation Harbor as well. Uh, Central Advent, Carpenter Street, uh, and this is the shells. So where's Carpenter Street? Uh, Carpenter. Uh, Carpenter Street right here. Okay, so it actually is quicker if I do this. Carpenter Street between which? Uh, between Benevolent Tides and Hawthorne Avenue. Uh, so, Carpenter between Hawthorne Avenue and Benevolent Tides. Okay, so it seems to be on the open waters as well. Which is interesting. Melted Iron Key. Note on the door. We're upstairs waiting for you. As always, the key is under the illusion. If we succeed before you return, don't panic. We'll leave the book here. You'll be able to, be able to open the portal and follow us. Uh, okay, waiting upstairs, so I suppose I have to go upstairs as well. been transported into a different place altogether seemingly mm. 
Like it seems to me that they are hostile. Which unfortunately I think I need to go through here again. Hmm. Can I even do that? Like how do I get back? Son of the mind, by your humble servant, all known forms and shapes are more complex than you dare think, my humble student. Have you ever tried to look inside a straight line, or find the end of a circle? The angles hide entire realms of existence, dimensions and utter incongruity, of utter incongruity, where size is backwards and time is optional, and with my help, you can open a passage to these places using only the lines and angles of your mind. Okay, I have another skill point to get. Uh, I'm a bit unsure where to spend it on at this point, because I'm not sh sure which weapon I'm going to get. Uh, next, and obviously it makes no sense to upgrade something that I don't yet have. Uh, so you know what? I might actually keep this point in reserve uh, until I get a new weapon, and then I'll just upgrade that weapon, uh, you know, instantaneously. Um, okay, so that's the book. Uh, another one is in the shells. But, where is the professor's home? Mm, it's on St. Michael's Road. Uh, okay, so right here. Uh, I will look for the other thing first, which is this. Mm, on Purity Road between St. Michael's Road and Powderhouse Street. Uh, where's Powder House? Okay, right here. So it's somewhere in this stretch, so uh, I should be pretty close to it already. Okay, I'm not exactly happy about this.
Okay, that was that was a mistake on my part to stay in that fight. I, I'll I, I will not fight the monsters on this respawn. I'll just run past, trying to heal. Yeah, I've lost a grenade, which is a huge pity. Yeah, overall the, the situation is not particularly great, resource-wise. Although I guess the crux of the problem is that my weapons kind of suck, generally speaking, uh, in this particular point of the game.
conspiracies. Flat Earth disproven. The ocean would drain way too fast. I'm... Um, what? There are like a bajillion uh, ways to disprove Flat Earth. And ocean draining too fast? How, how is that even relevant? How is that a way... How is that a way that they have chosen to disprove it? Hollow Earth disproven. If the ground is hollow, how come it doesn't rain when I stomp on it? The fishman. Goodness, just take away, take a, take a walk outside. They have flooded the city. The rest of America too, most likely. By K. What if I have been replaced too? Could it be why I'm allergic to tuna? What? I have like six bajillion things updated with, with regards to this. Some storage boxes in this place still haven't been cracked. What secrets could an honest citizen have? North Old Grove. Mm, took some persuasion, but now, now, now I've got another lead. Gonna have to bleach my clothes though, Western Advent. Alright, this is a spooky one. You know about the witches of the Mother Tree, right? Well, they are back and they are using fishman gold for their unholy rituals. Western shells. Uh, just when I find out about another strange trinket, the house uh, it was in collapses. Here's hoping I didn't it, it didn't get buried under the rubble. Sudden cover side. Um, good fishing in the waters around those parts. I hear. Pity I hate seafood. Those Dane wild beasts have ruined crab food for me forever. Central Grimhaven on Funtlock Street. Uh, another, po another poor wreck. Can't tell what's worse. The smell, the critters or the heights. Nothing you, can, you can't handle though. Eastern Grimhaven. Uh, hit a gold mine, literally. Another mark a few minutes walk away or not. Depends, depends on where you are really. Please read this note while next to the Holy Fire Lane between uh, the, the, the Ambrose Street and Freedom Avenue in the Shells East. You will be ple ple pleasantly surprised. A gorgeous pin, like coral, carved, of a, uh, carved out of a large ruby. Okay, so I've already found one of them, sort of by accident. Uh, while exploring the area. Not certainly a lot of running around. Mm. So, where is the professor's home? Uh, St. Michael's Road between Carpenter and Constitution. Michael's Road between Carpenter Constitution is right here and Carpenter is where? Right here, so it has to be literally somewhere over here Indeed from the baby carriage. If you want it, take it. It's free. The door won't bite.
Judging by the layer of dust on it, this ring hasn't been worn in a long time. So why keep it around? And judging by the layer of dust on it, this ring hasn't been worn in a long time. So why keep it around? At the professor's fact list, Westbrook usually has his lunch about half past two, get some soap. Anna always stays at the fish market so she shouldn't learn about me. New holes of fish arrive every two days, an ounce per box will be enough. The guard spends most of his time on the second floor during the night. Think about the way to divert suspicion from Westbrook. Don't want him to come to any harm. Don't forget to return the flask uh, to the storage. Think about plan B. A newspaper issue, March. Going, going, gone. Body count rises as vanishing continue across Oakmont. Locals are in a panic, with most of the reported disappearances occurring in the shells, Salvation Harbor and Grimha Grimhaven Bay. Captain Caleb Lyons of the Oakmont Police has put out a call for information. Our evidence suggests there's a link between those disappearances and the charity organization EOD that has recent, recently risen to prominence among the city's poor, said Lyons. Most of the victims seem to have either joined this group or been a, re a recipient of their alms. We encourage anyone with the information to come forward. The Chronicles remind the readers uh, to avoid any suspicious newcomers, especially insmouthers, and to remain at home during evening hours. Stay alert. This Cavendish guy did an impressive investigation, and the EOD is in the center of all of it. This Cavendish guy did an impressive investigation, and the EOD is in the center of all of it. Newspaper issue February. Disturbance in the shells as fighting breaks out between locals and Innsmouthers. The cause of the conflict appears to be a, uh, to have been the disappearance of several women, with locals accusing a group of Innsmouthers of the crime. The Oakmont police continue to investigate the vanishings, but as of yet the case remains unsolved. One source of the, from the shells reports that traces of fish scales and seaweed were found at multiple victims' homes, which seems to have uh, precipitated the fight. loved you. Hmm. A lot of fancy dresses locked away in a dark corner for a long time. I'm starting to smell some deep family trauma here. You will never understand our cause! My child is blessed by the sea! I'm leaving you, George. Hmm. So wait, <laughs> is this a story about how his wife cackled him with a deep one? What? I don't care what your damn EOD cult demands, Anna. I thought the child was mine. <laughs> mine. <laughs> Yep, it is a story about that, and in fact, uh, he seems to have been in a relationship with Anna. George, I can't live like this anymore. There's something I have to tell you. Okay, let's see what we... George? I don't care what your damn... You will never understand our cause! My child is blessed by the sea! I'm leaving you, George. George Cavendish. 
fish. He had a wife named Anna. She had a baby that was not his, but blessed by the sea and claimed by the EOD. This caused their split. What are you doing here? Calm down. My name's Charles Reed. I'm a private investigator. <laughs> right now, you look like someone who's breaking into my house. A, a, a burglar. I explain yourself. I'm not sure if that would necessarily call him down. He didn't part uh, on very good terms with her. But, but on, on the other hand, this is outright accusatory. Easy there. Anna from the fish market asked me to find you. You know her, right? Oh, I should have guessed. I know her much better than you think. What does she want from me now? She already took everything I have. It's not about what she wants. It's about what you did. Poisoning the fish. Sound familiar? Yeah, I can prove you did it. Hold on. Before you jump to conclusions, I want you to know that I had a good reason to do what I did. It all comes back to Anna. What's Anna got to do with all this? As you might have already gleaned, she is... was... my wife. Uh-huh. Yeah, it all starts to come together now. The EOD robbed me of her. It all started with the free fish. We were all short on food at the time. And then they hooked her with their nonsense about the benevolent sea and greater good. I looked past it for some time, but then... She became pregnant. Yes. At first, I was over the moon. But then one day she came to me, that snake, and told me that the child was not mine. She said it was blessed by the sea. That it was demanded by the EOD. Doom take them! I couldn't stand it! I just couldn't! Oh, this should be fun. What's your good reason for poisoning innocent people? You know the EOD are feeding the hungry, don't you? No. Oh, that's exactly the problem. They're not doing it out of charity. They do it to spread their influence and recruit new members. Some of those initiates, as they call them, vanish without a trace. And not just them, they kidnap ordinary folks, too. And poisoning the fish would prevent this, how? Oh, you see, not everyone in this city believes in the EOD yet. They have opposition among the citizens, both rich and poor. A rumor of the EOD's fish being poisonous and several incidents would be enough to undermine the EOD by sparking fear and mistrust. There must be another way to deal with the EOD. Like, if their crimes are that obvious, why don't you just go to the police? <sighs> They're resourceful, those sons of hagfish. They maintain a squeaky clean image, and Kay, they're good at it. I tried going to the police. They were no help at all. And I'm not suicidal enough to make it public and take them to court. What did she mean, blessed by the sea? What do you think is the cause of Innsmouth Syndrome in people? Uh, 
living in Innsmouth? That K-forsaken place has nothing to do with it. It comes from breeding with monsters. These sea creatures they call Deep Ones. They take our women and they spoil them with their seed. Then they give birth to degenerate fish-faced offspring. Where did you learn all this? This information about the EOD? After Anna left, I had nothing. But I did have a lot of time to research Innsmouthers, the EOD, and the story behind them. It is an old and powerful organization. They appeared back in the mid-19th century in Innsmouth, and the first people with the Innsmouth Syndrome started showing up around that same time. Ah, uh, perhaps not coincidentally. No, uh, of course not. And the EOD is immensely rich. The sudden rise to power of the Blackwood family happened right after they joined them. So what's your next move? I was interrupted and couldn't finish my task. The EOD received a fresh haul of fish, but now they're on alert and raised their guard. I understand I'm in no position to ask. But after reviewing all the facts I've presented to you, Mr. Reed, would you agree to help me? Eh, you deserve to die is pushing it, but I think he's wrong. Like, I understand where he's coming from, but I think his methods are wrong. Uh, because a lot of innocent people are going to suffer. They can possibly die from eating those fish and all just to destroy the reputation of the EOD. Now, the problem is, like the narrative problem is, that I know that the EOD are probably up to no good because I know what the EOD actually is, which is the Esoteric Order of Dagon. Uh, so it's kind of a matter of my meta-knowledge spoiling the game a little bit, because if I didn't know anything, I would be much less likely to help him, but I think I will, because killing him? No, I think he's wrong, but I don't think he's the level of I'm going to kill you to stop you wrong. Uh, precisely because I don't trust the EOD farther than I can spit myself. Uh, and to be honest, I can I'll listen to him, I guess he will want me to poison the rest of the fish, but I can always kill him later, I assume. Keep talking. Now what is it you want from me? Poison the rest of the fish. It's spreading, but it's not enough. The EOD trusts you enough to deal with me, so it should be simple for you. My agent inside the EOD reports that they've just received a fresh haul. That's your target. Mm. <laughs> I, I don't think I'm going to do it. I, I don't want to fight him because I don't trust the EOD and in fact I think the EOD are up to no good themselves. But I think his methods are seriously misjudged and like he's using, he's not even using a poison that would like cause nausea. He's using a, a deadly poison that is causing, you know, painful agony, internal hemorrhage, and people are going to eat those fish and, and die in horrible pain just because he has a grudge against the EOD. Like I think I'm going to kill him. Like I would prefer if the game offered me a choice to subdue him without killing him or like to reason with him but i think in a way at the moment he might actually be more dangerous than the eod because sure the newspapers are talking about how they are uh, they are responsible for disappearances of like dozens of people but what he's doing has potential to kill hundreds of people so i'm sorry but you're a bit stupid and you're going to pay for it with your life. Like, I assume I will eventually come to blows with the EOD anyway, but I would rather not poison any more fish before doing that, so I'm sorry. You're a madman, Cavendish. You're willing to let innocent people suffer and die just to get revenge on your ex-wife. No, this madness has to stop. And I'm gonna put an end to it right now. Oh, no, 
No. You, you don't understand. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sorry, but, you know, I am I do literally believe he was actually a greater danger to the people at the moment than, than the EOD itself. Um, EOD is suspected of kidnappings and assaults by the police. Uh... The, poison, uh, the poisoning of the fish was an attempt to ruin the EOD plans to gain influence in the city. Uh, Daryl Grimes told me that Anna is ruthless in her judgment of the guilty. He's clearly afraid of her. Anna Cavendish is a zealous servant of the EOD and she will follow any instruction without hesitation. To be no, no, to be honest, I'm not sure about her specifically. Uh, wh whether she's an honest benefactor that does charity work for the people on behalf of, like, I'm just sure that in the end, the the, the upper upper echelons of the EOD are up to no good. But whether she personally is, I'm not entirely sure. Let's uh, review more uh, uh, George sabotaged the EOD to undermine the charitable operations uh, I do kind of believe he's a dangerous psychopath like even if you you would say his goals are justified, uh, which you know they might be, as I said, I don't trust the EOD further than I can spit because I know what they actually are. Uh, even if uh, the protagonist doesn't yet, uh, his plan was still deranged and could lead to the deaths of hundreds. Uh, well, I guess the other option, mm -hmm, I can't even, I should help Anna Cavendish deal with the poisoner and help save the city from starvation. Yeah, that's that's debatable whether that is going to happen. But as I said, I've actually mentioned that. And judging by the layer of dust on it, this ring hasn't been worn in a long time. It would be. Why keep it around. It would be pretty interesting if the actual charity work was in fact 100% genuine. Uh, which is possible to my mind, like, it is possible to me that only the the uppermost echelons of the EOD actually know, you know, anything about Dagon or, you know, anything about their more nefar nefarious aims, uh, whereas the lower sort of grunts are, for example, the guy who, who guarded the warehouse is like making toys for the children? Uh, at the orphanage, like that's something that a totally evil character w wouldn't do because what's the benefit in that? Like that, that's just spending time and resources uh, on something that brings you very little actual gain. Mm, 
but I'm going to talk to Anna next time because this episode has been long enough so I'm going to save and end it for now. That's all for this one and I will see you in the next one. Bye.